Hey folks, this is Mark here with Apple Creek Outdoors. And uh, just today we were cutting a little bit of firewood. Now it's March, uh, what, 29th, I think. And uh, we were cutting a little firewood today. And I knew it was getting about time for the mushrooms to be coming up. And uh, I thought, well, I better check one of my spots. And I went out and sure enough, the little boogers had started popping up. So as soon as we got the wood unloaded, I uh, told everybody, hey, let's hop in the jeep and go, go hunt some mushrooms. So that's what we're off to do today. Uh, usually the uh, end of March, the first part of April, is when the morel mushrooms start making their appearance in southeast Missouri. Now that varies from place to place. Uh, I think it's about seven miles per day is the, the mushroom migration as they begin emerging in the south uh, in the end of February and it goes all the way into the later parts of uh, May up in the northern states. But today we're going to be out looking for the black morels. Now we'll take any that we can find. But uh, that's going to be the focus. Now, one thing I always like to use is a mesh bag. Uh, this is just an old onion bag or garlic bag, I think. And this allows the spores to repopulate the forest if, if that actually works. I've heard it does. I don't really know. But uh, a couple tips. Whenever you're looking for, for mushrooms in the woods, uh, wow, it, it's hard to really capture or, or explain exactly where to go look. Uh, you, you almost have to just stumble upon them just by spending a lot of time in the woods. But once you have found those mushroom spots, those spots will be there year after year after year. Because those mushrooms, they're actually growing from an underground network of filaments. And then the, the mushrooms that we eat are actually the fruiting body of the fungus. And that's what we're going to be looking for today. So. Uh, I guess a couple tips that I have learned, one of them I learned from my father-in-law because he's actually the one uh, that got me into mushroom hunting, is that you look for the combination of a sassafras and dogwood tree. Uh, if you have that, that combination, usually, well I think just about every time I've ever found black morels, that is the tree combination that I've been under. And, uh, so that's worked for me. The, the yellow morels or white morels, a lot of times ash and elm trees are the ones you need to look for there. But once you get the hang of it, once you spend the time in the woods and start identifying where these mushrooms are going, growing, you'll, you'll see what it should look like. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, hit the woods and see what we can find, guys. Now this is what I call my uh, early indicator spot. Usually I find mushrooms right here before I find them anywhere else. And when we were cutting firewood, that's where I looked and sure enough, that's where they were. So anyway, I'm gonna let Wyatt uh, try to find them here. Do you see any? Four, six, what? five, six, three here. Three, three, here. yep. Two over there. Okay, you're seeing them quicker than I thought you would. Well, I saw that one. There's a few more, but we'll go ahead and get these first.
there's one. Why do I get them down? Right above the roots, or where it's connected to the ground. Just try to pinch it off. You get a little of the bottom, that's okay. Perfect. Now show them. Show the folks at home that beautiful example of a black mushroom, black morel Big mushroom. One. What? Big one. It's a nice one, good and fresh. And when you harvest the mushroom, what you typically want to do is remove a little bit of the leaf litter, reach down, move some leaves so y'all can see, and just kind of pinch and tear so you don't get any of the base with it. And there we go, a beautiful black morel mushroom. Now morels, they are a type of fungus. Now a lot of people when they think fungus, they think of something nasty and slimy. Uh, but just to give you an idea of the way a fungus actually works, and morel mushrooms are fairly similar as well. If you peel back the bark of a rotting log, you can see here we have all these little white filaments. All right, and that is actually the body of the fungus. That's where it's growing, that's where it's decomposing this wood, and you'll find the same thing in the leaf litter, in the ground, in the woods, but that's where the body of the fungus is. Now what you actually see here too, pull this piece of bark off so you can see, this particular fungus, there's another mushroom, and but this is not the kind you'd necessarily want to eat. Uh, you got to be careful with mushrooms, some of them are highly toxic. But this is the fruiting body of the fungus. These are the filaments that make up the body of the mushroom. And uh, right here you have the fruiting body. And this is what's creating the spores. And those spores will be given off uh, and spread by the wind to seed the fungus elsewhere. Fungus doesn't just break down the dead leaf matter and the trees here. Uh, it's also got another important role in the ecosystem too. Uh, there's a whole other category of fungi called mycorrhizal fungi. Uh, it comes from the Greek mycos, which is fungus, and rhiza, which is the Greek for root. So it's a fungus that lives in combination with the roots of many of the plants that we have. And a lot of research has been done recently and we found out that uh, they are absolutely essential for a, a healthy plant. Uh, the, the fungus, some of the things that those mycorrhizal fungi do is to uh, supply nutrients or make nutrients available to the plant that otherwise wouldn't be as available as if the plant were growing in a fungus free soil. So not only are they good to eat, but they're helping make other things good to eat as well. Well, we found a nice little mess of black morels today. This will make some excellent table fare. And uh, you can join us in our next video where we're gonna talk about how to prepare and uh, cook, these, cook these guys up. So anyway, thanks for watching Apple Creek Outdoors and until uh, the next video, we'll see you then.